I think, yeah, it's been a, a wonderful um, kind of harmony of, of both my career and the, uh, my, my voluntary role here, here at the railways. I'm a, a concert lighting designer by living, so I, I work with pop stars from, from Oli Merz to, to Anastasia. It's a very high standard of lighting programming that, that I deliver. Um, it's a complete custom system, nothing's really off the shelf, only the lights underneath there, an off the shelf kind of product, which gives us the ability to animate the train, change the colours, change the atmosphere, and do a proper light show to music, which is what differs tremendously to, to some of the other railways out there that are essentially static coloured rope lights. On board the train, once you're on, uh, we put LED lights all inside of the coach, so it's above people's heads. They're, obviously, they can see the lights within the windows, dangling past them. And we project from underneath the coach is uh, very, very high power uh, LED lighting to illuminate all the trees and everything around you. There then is a audio score that runs around it. It's a DJ mix um, that's then narrated in a rather comical fashion by X Factor's voiceover man, so a very recognisable voice. Finally, the piece of the resistance is the fact that every, everyone gets one of these wristbands. Um, they don't just randomly change colour, uh, they are remote controlled, so passengers actually become part of the light show. So we managed to carry over 35,000 people on 180 round trips. So roughly uh, there's about 14,000 individual LEDs per train. So this is another unique thing to our railways. We, we actually run two trains at once. Uh, one departs from Alsford, the other one departs from Alton, and they actually cross halfway, which is a bit more cool for the passengers to see. And each train roughly takes us, it's three days dressing the coaches, and then we'll spend a day uh, dressing the locomotive, and then there's a final day we put it all together, test it, and run it up and down the line. So it's looking at a total of five days per train. Uh, so we ran 33 nights, and that was roughly 180 trips. So that, that equates to about 3,600 miles between the, the two trains. Yeah, that's right. So it's the biggest event we've held so far. Um, and come looking at this coming year, um, it's going to be worth about a third of the revenue we're going to receive in the, in the entire year. So very important from our perspective. OK, well, we're, we're currently still in the design process of adding adding new things in for this year. Um, I'm, I really want to explore something more for the passengers to see outside. So my current thought is I want um, images to be projected onto the field as, as we go by. Um, maybe even have, you know, spot the Rudolph or something that's, that's, that's projected. A different theme as well. So at the moment it's heavily Christmas music. Um, so I'm hoping maybe to introduce a the last service maybe with more of a party theme, so not just Christmas music. The steam illuminations ran for 31 days, starting in, at the end of November and then finishing up in the middle of January. So we were overwhelmed by the amount of positive responses, the amount of positive feedback we got from people that came and visited us. Um, so whether they were riding on the train, getting to use the wristbands, um, or whether they just came to watch uh, from Ropley where we had a viewing area. Um, I, in general, I really didn't, didn't see much at all. Um, I, I, kept an eye on a lot of the comments on social media. There was probably one, obviously a lot of the real enthusiasts, they're very passionate about the history and think it should be. And I think I did see one comment going, oh no, it should be just a, you know, a historic railway museum, which most of the year it is, you know. Um, um, and this is the opportunity for us to do something a little bit different and earn that revenue to keep doing the museum the rest of the year. We're able to earn over half a million from the event um, and all of those, um, all the money that comes from that goes straight into keeping the railway operating. So from maintaining and restoring the coaches, um, making sure we've got the right skills from an engineering perspective um, and a myriad of other things that end up costing from a heritage railway perspective. So really important that we make the most out of those events because they give us the funds we need to be successful across the rest of the year. It also really helps put the railway on the map from an advertising and a marketing perspective uh, and just people being able to come have a really good time on the railway and then go and tell other people about it. Uh, it's really important from our perspective.